Hey guys, so uh, like I was saying earlier in one of my other videos, um, I was watching uh, First Blood the other day and uh, I was like tripping out on the knife that he was using in the movie and stuff and uh, and I remembered I have this uh, Boker Aparo, so I was like, man, I gotta go out in the woods and play with my Rambo knife. <laughs> so I've been out in the woods messing around with this thing this morning and it's been fun. And uh, I hiked back here uh, probably about a mile now I'm back in the woods a ways and it's just I found some really cool spots today so I figured I'd do some videos and hang out with my dog spend some time with her and just get out and hang around in the woods but uh this is a Boker Aparo Boker Martin Aparo and uh it's got a really they come with a crappy fake leather sheath I mean maybe it is leather but it just it feels like pleather or something but uh <clears throat> The knife itself is a tank. It comes with a saw on the top part right here, which is kind of, I don't know, it's kind of useless to me. And then it's got a blood groove. And then it has, uh, this guy here is not sharpened on the top. But then I had a buddy of mine, Jay, reprofile this thing so it's like a razor. And then it's, uh, it's a three-piece knife, or actually a four-piece. There's the blade, there's the pommel, the handle, or the the guard and then the handle and then the pommel and then this unscrews right here and I've got uh, your typical survival kit in here which today I don't have it in there but usually I carry uh, matches and tinder and uh, cotton balls and stuff like that in there and this end is made out of aluminum so if, if you're gonna be beaten on this knife you got to be careful not to trash this end and it does have an o-ring right here and then uh, my buddy uh, well First off, the handle is knurled. It's knurled really good. You can see a little bit of it right here. It's a crosshatch knurled, but uh, my buddy Jay uh, ran some paracord over this for me, and I really like the, the grippiness now. One of the things that I don't like about these round handle knives is they always want to turn in your hand like this. Just because they're round, there's no way to hold on to them. So when he did this and put that paracord on there, it really helps from the knife to keep from spinning around in your hand. And this to me is more of a novelty knife. I'm probably gonna piss off some hollow handle guys, you know, that, that like uh, knife guys that like to hollow handle knives. But uh, this isn't something that I go out and baton with because I'm, I'm afraid I'd break it right here because it is a two piece knife or three piece knife. And uh, I'd just be afraid to, to beat on this thing. I mean, you know, I have beat on it, but I haven't, uh, I've never baton with it just because of that fact that I don't wanna break the knife or whatever. But um, this is the the number on this is 1519. I'm not sure if you could pick that up right there. And then it's uh, made out of 440C stainless. You can see that right here. And it's made by the Boker Boker Martin uh, Aparo is the name of the knife. And it's a good knife. I mean, it's a tank. The thing's really super heavy. I mean, it feels kind of crazy in your hand, but it's just fun to go out and tear up in the woods and act like Rambo and goof off. And then, uh, you know, he put a lanyard on here for me. It's fun to go out in the woods and beat on this thing, you know, put some camouflage on and go out there with a bandana and <laughs> chase around your dog and goof off. So that's all I'm doing today, having fun out here. Brings back a lot, a lot of childhood memories, acting like Rambo out there in the woods with a ghillie suit on or something and, you know, chasing around and... Uh, having BB gun wars and whatever. But uh, after this thing was uh, reprofiled, uh, you know, it came to me, it, it wasn't that sharp when I bought it. And uh, actually this one is my second one. This is gifted to me from a friend. But my uh, my first one, uh, I ended up selling it and then I kind of wanted another one back. So this one was gifted to me. But you can see it's sharp. Uh, Jay reprofiled this thing and it's just ridiculous. I mean, it's like a scalpel. But it's a good knife, you know, you can make punji sticks or whatever you want to do out here. You know, cause because you gotta watch out for the enemy, of course. <laughs> no, it's just a fun knife though. Like I said, it brings back a lot of childhood memories. Goofing off, acting like Rambo out in the woods. But anyways, hope I didn't bore you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm gonna go out here and do some more videos and hang out with my dog and goof off. Thanks for watching. <laughs>